also while you're here, go to the second floor, go slightly forward. Hang on. Go forward over here and the child on beam will appear. But also you want to come over here to this table and peek underneath it. If you go back into the back room and after the boss fight, this ghost will appear for Miyako Sudo. After you come out from the cellar of the Osaka house, go to the kimono room and come into this box here in the back room. This ghost is easily missed, but it's in between the Osaka house and the Tachibana house, but you will get the weeping girl little hidden in the side. Ghost is hidden down the side of the twin doll house. When you go through the street and go back through who you do not want to press the camera button even when it first appears. You want to wait until after the cinematic has finished. So you can quickly aim down and get a shot of both of these in one go. If you go over to this door and examine the closet instead of going through the door to carry on throughout the house, you will reveal to you another ghost of the hidden man. Hidden over here in the corner. I'm not sure if these next ghosts glitch or not, but they did not appear for me in my first playthrough of the game, for whatever reason, and I have seen comments where I'm not the only one to have missed these two. But as soon as you go through this door, you will instantly get a shot of the vanishing twin doll. So be careful, because these ones do seem to be slightly glitched. I thought I would have this in here. A tip between the twins is that the real twin, the one you want to kill, actually opens her mouth when she goes to attack. That is how you tell the difference between the two. second floor of the dollhouse so you can quickly get this photo here of the demolished hallway for Pinned Man. Also there are three of the, these girl showing boxes in the house. In the long corridor where standing girl is after you've taken a photo of her go to the alcove in the opposite pit side. Head through to the projector room so you can get a photo of this girl here. I do not believe that she appears if you get a photo of the escaping twins though. I have not tested this. Okay, so just to be on the safe side, take a picture of her first before getting a photo of the escaping twin. After getting a photo of girl guarding box, come back down this little corridor so you can get to this opening here cell like room. Head towards the door post so you can get a photo of one in the corner. As soon as you have regained your camera 
Go back, head slightly forward so you can get to this pile of rubble. Aim downwards so you can get the hidden photograph of the crushed man. Also, just showing this, this is where you get... This is the best place where you can get to get the female dark woman. Head back into the main family room of the twin doll house so you can get this photo of the woman in photograph as well. Also head into the doll maker's room so you can also get his photograph as well. These ghosts can easily be missed so you mainly want to come back here before going back to the Tachibana house. Another one that can easily be missed is if you head up to the second floor where you meet the fallen woman. And aim down so you can get the fallen woman hidden ghost as well. When you're in the Tachibana house, as soon as the projector room door all closes into this hallway, you want to take the photo of Now here in the twin room there is a hidden ghost of called the twin boy. Now this ghost in particular has a mistranslation which I will show you now. Now Mitsuki, he, we all know, was killed by his brother Itsuki. But the reason Yai and Sai's ceremony went false was because their ritual failed because Mitsuki didn't become a butterfly. But as you can see here, it clearly states that Mitsuki became a crimson butterfly. But yet we know that this isn't true. When you find out where Mai is hidden, before actually examining the door or peeking through through the window. You want to bring up your camera so you can get the photograph of you Mayu. Very easy to miss. His little sister, you will have two events appear where you can get six ghosts from the ghost lists. Come into the twins' room so you can get the free ghosts for all happy times. These are Itsuki's little sister's memories as well. You want to go into the projector room as well to get the another free ghost to appear as well of the three siblings together. When you have Mayu with you, go when to see Itsuki, head to the back of the storehouse so you can get the craft here from up the road from the Osaka house. If I could help you escape, Yai. Maybe you will want to get a fast loading camera for this, as these ghosts are very quick. You want to get the boys in one shot and the girl in the last shot. Aim yourself so that you're facing in roughly this direction of the step. So as soon as the door closes you can immediately get the, the fleeing boy and the running boy and then get the running girl. When you reach to the bottom of these steps towards the Kurosawa bridge, aim upward so you can also get a shot of the jumping woman. Now to get this ghost, you must not have Maya with you. You must have dropped her off at the tree. Investigate over the side of the bridge so you can get this very well hidden ghost of the leaping woman. She will only appear if you do this interaction and not have Maya with you. As soon as this chapter begins, you want to immediately head back into the tree so you can get the photograph of Brother and 
Mr. Before Brave. After Mayu has been taken, go into the shrine. We are not ending the story here, but there is a hidden ghost within the shrine as soon as you get to the very end of Lady Kuria. A very easy ghost to miss as well is if you go past the twin doll house, is if you investigate the window by their main entrance. Peek through this little hole, and as soon as you do, a go your filament should shine, revealing to you that there is a hidden ghost here of man slain by daughter. Head back into the storeroom where Suki was kept and head up the stairs and aim towards the stone corner to get a photograph of an imprisoned woman. Head back to the main entrance of the village and you will also get a photograph of Yai Grisala. Like where we got the defeated man earlier on, head into the closet, turn around and you will get the hidden ghost of and you will get the hidden ghost of Masumi. Head back into the doll room and you will get some new ghosts appear here. But Sai and her sister and Yai with her sister. But you will also want to wait for these two to disappear so you can get the hidden ghost of Sai Kurosawa. After picking up the yes, I am in the master's room and where you got the four pre priests ghosts, you get Yai and Sai's embrace. We're doing just fine. Head back into the cell room to get a photograph of the man trapped in the cell. But you will also want to head to the very back of the cell so you can get the following photograph of Yai and Sai plotting their escape. When you're in the master ceremony room, you'll also want to take a photo here of of the ceremony master. Yai, we finally came. After the boss fight with the ceremony master, you'll also want to aim directly upwards with your camera so you can get a photograph. To get the failed kusabi which appears in the little crack right there to my right, you want to quickly run down here, yeah, quickly taking out these monsters, run down to the bottom of the stairs, and as soon as you get to the little crack in the hole to see the Osaka house cellar, you immediately want to peek through here, head back up, so that you can actually get the failed kusabi where your filament glows. I made a mistake in this because I was following a method where it was believed that by killing all six mourners would actually lead to the actual well, appearance of the ghost. Also down here before you activate any cutscene or, or boss fight you want to take a photo of my before abyss. Again in the final chapter, just like in the original game, you want to head down here to the south side of the abyss. As soon as you do, and make sure you do this as quickly as you can, as it can be done before Sai starts attacking you. So get down here, aim downwards towards the abyss, you can get a foe of Dwells in Darkness. And with that I will show you how to easily kill Sai, no problem. How broken the game is when you get unlimited film and and they do finish. And with that, we come to the close. I hope you enjoyed this walk through, and I hope it has assisted you. With that, good luck.